Hi, um, it's um, Robert, DJ Robert Johnson, Robert Johnson. Um, I'm sitting here eating my banana, and um, I just want to kind of kick some knowledge to you a little bit. Um, this is, what I'm about to tell you is, um, it's a very deep concept. <laughs> And um, it's probably um, not really something that can be debated by um, uh, professors, teachers, or authority figures, or even clergy, or psychologists. It's just me telling you. Um, I'm busy right now. Hold on. There is um a concept called um the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is the um is the um, scientific um discovery of how the universe was discovered or created and um, it's, it, it's supposedly has started in a very 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 tiny microscopic um, element and then um, created the whole universe in one big bang supposedly this is repeats itself as the universe collapses on itself and goes back to the same point. The whole theory is if this happens in a loop over and over again, it doesn't really matter how many times this happened because um, the infinity doesn't exist, and I'll get to that later. It doesn't matter um, how many times this has happened. The question is, how did it first happen? And that is um, the Something that the only the creator knows. These um do you see these things flying around, I mean UFOs and other life forms in the universe and and all that. It's really not that big of a deal. I mean, all they're doing is bending time and space because it takes too long to travel at high speed. And we're just checking things out. They're not really that intelligent. And they are all trying to figure out the same thing. Every life form in the universe is trying to figure out the same thing. What is heaven? Who is God and how did it all start? You see, the reason why the universe exists is because in order to go to the next level, to the higher existence, you have to believe in the concept of good over bad or evil. If you don't have that, 
then you can't continue on to the next level. The Creator, God, is unconditional love, acceptance, whatever you call it, whatever it is, it's unconditional. He's already figured it all out. <laughs> Which means he is smart. And what I mean when I say the word smart, smart is, is a, it means figured it all out. The the is the the end of learning. So he wanted people, beings in the universe to experience. what that's like. You can only experience it, you'll never know, actually know. But that's what's called heaven. And that's where all beings in the universe, and believe me, there's other beings out there, um, some of them are trifling, they ain't about nothing, so they, some of them look any way they want to, some are highly technically advanced, some you know, so what? But no one really knows, and everyone's trying to get to heaven. <sighs> because then you experience going to heaven as a being, as an individual, which means eventually everybody, me, you, will pass, but It's only a short time, maybe 50, 60 years. But then, you experience heaven. And you experience what? The world of God and what he knows and what he loves and it makes you laugh and smile and get the most enjoyment out of life. But you'll never receive smart. you always be learning. That's what God is, smart, which means he's learned all there is to learn. And when you've learned all there is to learn, I, don't, I can't even conceptualize it. But heaven,
heaven go really I, I I really I really I really to be honest with you I really don't know and but I do know that That it is something that um but um Anyway, just take that into account. There's no debate I'm on Facebook. I'm saying that. Nobody put me on there. I'm saying it myself. But Big Bang started. Maybe they are continuing over and over and over again. Maybe they won't stop. But God, the Creator, gave you a way out. To reach heaven. <laughs> 